we go again. <laughs> so after two or three weeks, we have this compressor pump here, and that needs to be installed because we think that's the culprit. And how to install it now, we're going to show you after the intro. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Good that you had an old Tecna te Tesla technician here or, And he had this little piece And this is broken from uh, inside There was a, what is it called? Uh, uh, well, this is the stud The stud, yeah uh, That It's a two uh, it's like two, two, two thread stud, yeah. right? So, and this I need for the front there because one of them it, it took a got out and we get there anyway so let's let's take that out yep. but what about for, what we forgot is that's what tesla recommended as well that's a relay for the pump right so when, if you inst uh, deinstall de the pump take the relay out as well and, and the pump as well so we think that's really the culprit of everything that this needs to be exchanged and now the error message is coming more and more every time I'm going over 50 because it should lower mm -hmm. right there comes the error message and every time when I'm coming to a stop comes the error messages again and that needs to be corrected so and we think that's the pump if it's not a pump we let you know but uh, the pump had to suffer a lot uh, from the leaking of that little valve there yeah, right so got the, very very hot there was a there's a refill leak for a faster refill of the compressor tank and we uh, t uh and we removed that refill uh, uh valve yeah. because we don't need it mm -hmm. we because it's only needed when you're coming in and out and in and, and going in the shop and and need that it's and a service port. there's a service valve right mm -hmm. So, and we took that leak out, then it helped a lot because it helped to extend the life of the existing pump. But now that pump is probably gone and we get the error message more and more. Good that we had enough time to get the part. Actually, this part, it's $330 or something like that, $350 with, uh, and Tesla want to have $780 for that pump. And I would have to pick up the part, but they give me the advice that was good, and you need that relay as well. And we try to think where that relay gets, and we're gonna start. All right, let's go. So here comes the first piece. This one, this stud, that is what we're talking about. Yeah. So that will be replaced while we are working on this. If we can get it out. Yeah, if we can get it out. <laughs> Same procedures every time. Get all the stuff out, put it here on the ground, and then I, I don't think that I have to repeat it. <laughs> so while we are there, we are exchanging this guy. That's the air filter here. It's really pretty simple. It comes in here. That's actually from the older models, the air filter. This way is better. Probably yes. Okay, air filter has changed. So first this piece here. The extension of the tray. The trunk trunk tray. You have to loosen this one as well. Just these guys. <laughs> yeah. It's 10 millimeter, right? Yep. Oh. 10 and 13. Okay, now we got it. Yeah. 
here we go. There is the pump. And that's in a Polestar or in a, what is it called? Uh, a mount. In a mount, yeah. yeah. So here are three bolts and they are being locked down from the other side. <coughs> they are in rubber, soft, and then, <coughs> but from the other side you need to get there and take those bolts out so that you can uh, take the whole pump assembly off. So what the trick is here, this whole bracket needs to be removed and there is a bolt from the other side and that's why you need to get it. So now we're taking all of the whole bracket out, removing those bolts first and then we can take the entire bracket out with the whole pump and then we can loosen the pump out of the bracket. Sure that you have to loosen the presser pipes as well, the black one and the purple one. Is that the, the color? Is that the special color? What is why is the black on purple? Uh, yeah, they're they're color coded. Okay. So purple goes to the air block, which is right here. Yeah. And then black goes to the reservoir. Ah, uh, okay, to the top. Yeah. Yeah. And then if you see all your all your wheels are color coded, also or your corners. So you have uh, red, green, blue, and yellow. Yeah. Down here. Yeah. So each color corresponds to a corner of the car. That yeah, means where the air pressure is needed for the uh, and, 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 and the air suspension, right? Correct. Oh. The air suspension, in theory, is a sealed system. Yeah. It can pull from ambient air if it needs to, but in general, when it's lowering, uh, when, when the air suspension has to lower, usually what it does is it'll open, it'll, it does it by axle. So it'll lower the front, and then lower the rear, then lower the front, then lower the rear. And okay. <coughs> Um, what it does is it opens up the two valve, the two front wheel valves, and air will travel from uh, through this hose into the compressor. The compressor will actually pull air out of the air struts and compress into the tank. And put it in the tank. Yeah. Ah, okay. So when you're in low, is when that tank has the most pressure in it. Yeah. It's about oh, 100, wow. 150 psi. Oh wow! Uh, yeah. Ah, here's the tank. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's in a closed system. It comes back from the, uh, from here and goes in the compressor tank. Or yep. when it comes up, then it's the opposite way. Yeah. yeah. So when it when it goes the other direction, it'll uh, come out of the tank. Um, oftentimes, to go from low to standard, it doesn't even need the compressor. Uh, there's oh. enough pressure in there that it'll just pick up. From uh, the from just from the tank. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but then to go from standard to anything else, it's got to compress air out of the tank and into the struts. And yeah. if for any reason it needs to refill the tank, it will pull from ambient air, and that's actually what this guy is. This is a, a filter dryer for ambient air to ah, come okay. into the air compressor. Here it is, the compressor. We got it out with the bracket. Now we can focus on replacing it here and then, right? Yep. And then continue. So we loosen the bolts there. Uh, from the bolts here in the in the bracket, from those feather or damping. Yeah. They didn't give me the rubber pieces. Oh, the rubber pieces are in here. Yeah. Yeah, new rubber pieces. Yeah. Oh, that that needs to be removed as well. The intake, right? Yeah. Yeah. But it has a quick connect. And then uh, this one in. comes back in. Yeah. Just like that. And that's it. Uh, there are ferrules. Go pull one off of the airline. Also, these ones supposed to be one time used. This is a kind of clip that are done. It's a small clip that's attached to it. So, and, but you can loosen it with a screwdriver and then you can possibly reuse it. You can use it again if you don't break it. Yeah. Just like that. Good. Excellent.
And that comes back uh, on the uh, on the other piece there, right? Yeah, yeah, the new compressor already has one. So yeah, uh, but basically you can see the the beveled edge to that, and that will sit against that beveled edge. Yes, and then it presses and then it closes. Yeah, yeah, and that's what actually holds the airline in in place. Yeah. yeah. Yep. You need it for the black one as well. <coughs> yeah, we're gonna pull it off the black one. The new compressor has uh, new ferrules and uh, new sealing nuts in it, so we're just gonna use the new stuff. Uh, okay. Which is fantastic because it actually makes it feel super, super easy. Oh, that's good that it has new, yeah, new of those ones, new, new, complete new pieces. Their new prop compressor. That's what you have to watch. Yeah. That's a very tricky piece when you push the pipe in. And then you see here there are two markers here. Uh, one and two. And you have to push it in between those two markers. And it's the same here. If you don't do that, you push them in too wide and the compressor cannot work because the pressure comes from this side and not from here, from this side, it comes from this side. Now we have assembled that bracket back together with the Featherings there, and then we put it back on. It's funny that they have one of the bolts is on the other side, right? Yep. They have all bolts from the top and just one of them from the other side, just to just make one. it complicated, right? I, I would change that. So put the bolt from the other side. <laughs> you, you would think. I'm not. I'm not really. I mean, I'm sure there's some engineering reason yeah. behind it. Yeah. But certainly not one that makes a whole lot of sense. That, to so me. that is the one from the other side, right? Yeah. Uh, Was it that one? No, this one. No, this one. This yeah. is from the other side. Yeah. yeah. Looks good. Yeah. Connector looks good. What is that for? It's what holds the connector to the side of it inside the car. Ah, uh, yeah. And that goes. Goes there. zip tie on it. We can glue on, glue it on. <laughs> now put it all back together and put the pump back in with the brackets in there and everything. Oh, and here goes the relay. Uh, two boxes there and then on the lower left side here there's the new relay goes in. And we tested that also here with the ohm measurement. So we were pretty busy and there was something what oh sorry what the folks had to do is here at that at that pump there was a little rework you had to tip you had to tie this one uh, closer to that pump so because it was wobbling as well and it could uh, cut one of those lines right yes then now they didn't do the rework on my car or the service bulletin, but uh, now it's been done. JJ did it for me. <laughs> right. Okay, pump is there, pump is running. So now we have to watch it. It's currently on high. We lift it, or lifted it up. It's on high. Yeah. Now everything back together. Also the felt. And now comes that roll trick in order to put it back in. And press it back. Oops. Yeah. Looking good. Okay, almost everything back together. And my back comes back, my charging back. 
and the net is now perfectly aligned and, and that piece is not breaking out anymore. Excellent. And now the rest of the cover pieces and then we are done. Back we did it and we put it all together again and uh, the, we tested the pump, it was working and it was pumping. It got a little hot because it had to refill the whole container. There, yeah, right, the, the, yeah, car, the tank. The service valve. Yeah, <laughs> but we say thank you to JJ again, great job. And I let you know I'm going to do a test drive because I have to go to training today and they're going to do a test drive and see how it works. I, I think it's good because it pumped up and lifted all also mm -hmm. already. Okay, thank you very much. Subscribe to the channel. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye. See ya.